The federal government's warning about something potentially deadly lurking in the water. Darren Bethello from our sister station in North Carolina explains what it is and how to try to avoid getting sick. A sunny summer day in Asheville with hundreds of people taking a dip like Tatum and Hazel Shear at the public pool. Tatum says they've been going every week. So far like two times a week and I go to a lake a lot. Normally a healthy way to cool off unless you mix in a parasite called cryptosporidium or crypto. Government health officials warn it's on the rise. It can be in chlorine. It still maintains a long time in chlorine, can stay active in chlorine. It can be in the rivers, exactly lakes, any body of water. Dr. Susan Fowler with Mercy Urgent Care says it gets in the water through stool from infected animals or people. In most cases, it's not deadly, but could cause diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and dehydration possibly for a few weeks. Avoid um, swimming in areas that have known cryptosporidium in them um, and avoid trying to swallow water. And Dr. Fowler says stay out of the water for at least 10 days after your symptoms go away. Jump, jump. The latest numbers from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention show five to 13 reported outbreaks of crypto in North Carolina between 2009 and 2017. Enough to keep these sisters on alert. I don't want other people to get sick for their welfare and stuff like that. But this isn't enough to keep them out of the water. Because it's really fun to go there in the summer, especially when you need um, a refresh. So if we keep our pool clean, then that would be good because then you can have a lot of fun splashing your sister. Still to come on CBS 2 News this morning, float season officially opens on the